lot of young black athletes that have wanted to be what Charlie is today. And I'm sure if they'll stay following his lifestyle, his pattern of riding, that's exactly what they'll do. This is Skull's Outlaw Willie. This is the Bucking Bull of the Year in 1992. Kansas City is the place. Charlie Sampson is the main man in tune. For those of you who travel on the rodeo circuit, the name Charles Sampson is very near and dear to all your hearts. And you know what? He's joining us here today at the Pace and Rodeo. How you doing, Charles? Very good, Miss Lisa. How's it going? It's going great. Thank you. I have to ask you, because you are so amazing at what you have done with your life and your career, how does a guy like you come from Watts, California, and then end up in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, and then become a world champion bull rider? Well, you know, like you said, how you end up in the mountains? Well, you gotta work your way up one rock, <gasps> one hill, eventually you get to the top. When you started bull riding, how old were you? I got on my first bull when I was right around 15 years old. And did you ride when you were still in Watts? Yeah, I, I, I started out riding steers around 11, 12, 14 years old, and I rode horses, and I rode the ponies, and I roped the steers. Gradually uh, got on my bull, and, and uh, next thing you know, it just became the first love of my life. more than one championship under your belt. How many do you have? Well, I end up uh, winning you know, one world championship. I won a Sierra Circuit Championship. I won three turquoise championships. Let's talk about the safety equipment. How has it changed over the years from when you were riding to today? Well, okay. Us bull riders had to come up with some type of a safety, you know, protection to help us because, you know, we're just hurting ourselves even worse where when we hurt and sore, we can't compete. And we're not guaranteed any money to compete. Mm -hmm. So we depend on our body to keep us going. You're retired now. <laughs> How are you spending your time? What are you doing with your days? Oh, my days are spent, like I said, I thank God every day for waking me up. Fortunately for me, um, I have horses to ride. I have horses that I, that I train. Uh, have bull riders that's calling me to get advice from me. Uh, you know, I do interviews like this, and I try to mentor. Uh, Judging some of the events as uh, well. Judge Tyler. events. I do safety seminars. I, you know, I like working with uh, up and coming bull riders. And anybody who wants to know about bulls, I can obviously help them with that. I said, I love this sport. I knew this was a great sport. And that's why we got this exclusive interview with Charles <laughs> Sampson because his appearance with us here at the Cowboy Lifestyle Network is priceless. Ah, that's a good one. <laughs>